You were the subject of what's been called zombie protests in Winter Garden last month and also incredible vitriol at a town hall meeting that you had in Orlando. Well, I wasn't sure what to expect, but uh, I've seen it all. It's not like I haven't been protested before. This is because of your support of uh, the Ryan uh, budget plan. These people are not new to me. A group of them came to the uh, opening, open house we had in my office. They weren't quite as vocal then, but they had a video camera trying to get me to answer questions and other things. So it's not anything new. The people that are former uh, ACORN, uh, I saw the leader, one of the leaders there of that and, and moveon.org. So it wasn't that I didn't recognize them and, or didn't know that they were coming. I knew they were coming. Uh, they haven't been to any of the others. We've had seven town hall meetings. And the people that played the zombies were the same people that were at the uh, at the town hall meeting. Yeah. If we don't do something, we're going to have a bankruptcy. Yeah, they don't take war. And they're spending our money to social security into a war. Does it curb your appetite for holding these town halls? No. It doesn't. Uh, I do. I do uh, not like that if they're going to disrupt to take away the time of people who actually came to ask questions. Uh, we got some letters from people. One one letter from one lady who left because she was a little fearful, and uh, that's sad. But other than that, um, I think the open, honest discussion of issues is a good thing. The clash of ideas is a good thing. That's how you get good public policy. You're not caring about the deficit, or you wouldn't have gave away all those tax cuts. Because it's because we can't afford it! We can't afford it, you moron! Oh, come on! Where people in attendance, though, scream out things like, you moron to one another, and to you saying that you're a liar, does this make you anxious at all in that kind of setting? No, not really. I usually don't get upset at things like that or, or anything. I try to take things as they come and uh, just listen and, you know, eventually uh, people will cool down and we get a chance to talk. Why did we see this, though, at your events? Uh, a number of Republicans uh, voted just as you did uh, for the Ryan plan, but do you feel that this is in part because the campaign is already underway to get Alan Grayson back in the seat that, uh, that you won a short time ago? It could be, but I think also the president announced his re-election bid early. And I think that has turned everything sort of upside down. Plus, this is a district uh, uh, not like uh, other districts in the country that voted for Barack Obama in 2008. And so I would assume that they believe it's a winnable seat or at least a competitive seat. The district is a majority Democrat um, district. And there is uh, thinking that uh, you need to work harder as a candidate, given that. There was a study done recently that you had raised less money than any incumbent in Congress for your re-election. I think there's a time for raising money. Uh, I wanted to learn how to be a congressman first, mm -hmm. and I went up there and I did that. I did not focus on fundraising. So I'll, I'll be competitive when the time comes, and uh, I'll be raising money when the time comes, and uh, you, you'll see me running a hard race uh, for re-election. Have you, in fact, decided that you will be running for re-election? To me, there might be one more term in me. There might be. You haven't decided yet. Well, I, I usually make those decisions later, but I don't see anything that would uh, prohibit me from running for re-election, so I, I plan to be in, in the race uh, come next November.